When you're confronted with steep rocky tracks, such as this one known as the Widowmaker on the outskirts of Alice Springs, your tyres really cop some punishment. For these conditions, tyres that are resistant to cuts and chips are critical, otherwise they'll wear out in no time. Let's have a look at what makes tyres able to withstand such tough conditions. Ah, so what have we got here? Now I'd guess what's happened to this one, but I've got an expert with me who knows all about it. Neil, what do you reckon? So what happened here? What's caused this? Uh, well basically this is a case of really bad cut chip. Neil, you tyre engineers talk about cut chip. What exactly is cut chip? Well, our cut chip is when a rock or a stone, something sharp, cuts into the tread uh -huh. and then a piece of tread is then chipped off. Right. So uh, a tyre that is quite malleable and uh, can mould around the, the rocks and sharp things on the trail uh -huh. won't actually get cut and chipped. Uh, you might sustain a bit of a cut to the tread but uh, that piece of tread will then stay on. So if you get enough cut chip, it becomes a problem because uh, eventually you yeah, run no, out of tread. Yes, no tread there's left. There's nothing left. No. So Neil, what's Bridgestone done to avoid having a tyre that looks like the one we just looked at? Well, uh, within Australia, we've done more than 400,000 kilometres worth of testing. Mm. And uh, on so all sorts of outback roads and tracks, on a couple of Kimberley cattle stations and stuff like that. And uh, over two and a half years, we've put the D697 through its paces and uh, basically looked at the tyres that came off the vehicles and worked out what do we need to do from here, which was basically just some improvements to the tread compound itself and to the tread pattern as well. Mm. So how does the pattern influence cut chip? What's the, what characteristics have you got in this that, that have re helped reduce cut chip? Yep. Uh, basically we've found that by reducing the number of sipes and uh, uh, uh. Okay. That's engineer talk. What exactly is a sipe? Well, a sipe is a small cut in the tread here that uh, allows the block to move around a bit. And basically, we've reduced the number of sipes in this D697 compared to the D694 in order to improve the strength of individual blocks. So, so by having a, a more solid block, you reduce the chance of, of a cut starting. That's right, reduce the chance of a cut starting and reduce the chance of a cut that does occur um, moving into a chipped out piece of tree. Mm, makes sense. Yep. So let's take a look at the innovations that make the Bridgestone Dueler D697 perform so well when it comes to cut chip resistance.